Hello, Year 6. It's Mrs. Klein about to read out Wednesday, the 24th book talk for you. So I'm about to share the screen now. And hopefully, here it is. Share, right. Okay, so let's, um, let's have a look at the questions first. Right, this is uh, an extract again from Goodnight Mr. Tom, and this is called Goodnight Mr. Tom Birthday Boy, this chapter's about. Right, question one. Are they for me? He asked in astonishment. Why do you think Willie was astonished? Question two. Find and copy two descriptions that show you Willie was shocked by all the gifts. Question three. Willie held it tightly to his chest. Why do you think he did this? Question four, what does this extract tell you about Tom's character? Use evidence to support your answer. And question five, how has the relationship between Mr. Tom and Willie changed from when they first met? Think back to our previous book talks. Okay, so you know the questions. We'll look at them again after. They're the, the ideas hopefully in your head while we're reading it through. Uh, let me just... Uh... I'm just going to see if I can get it to, yeah, that's fine. All right. So I've got it as, as big as I can. You can see it scans. It's a little bit blurry, but it's hopefully you, you'll be able to read it fine. Okay. Birthday boy. Willie leapt out of bed. It was the beginning of his sixth day in Little Weir World. He pulled back the blankets, peeled back the cotton and rubber sheets and struggled down the ladder with them in his arms. Sammy was yapping and jumping up and down, waiting for him at the bottom. Morning, said Tom appearing at the back door. Happy birthday! He expected Willie to ask if there had been any post, but there was no response. Willie dressed and helped Tom wash his sheets and pyjama trousers. They had decided the previous evening, after Cain and Abel and how the camel got his hump, that every day Willie would get up a little earlier than usual to practice writing and reading before leaving for school. When he had finished his chores, he sat down at the table and copied out I am William Beach over and over again until Tom, after much effort, finally persuaded him to go for a run and exercise Sammy. He had only just disappeared down the graveyard path and out of sight when the postman arrived at the back gate. A birthday boy, is it? said the young Matthew Parfit. Anything from London? asked Tom. Matthew shook his head. Afraid not. I got parcels though and cards and this. It was a basket with fresh eggs, a newly baked loaf of bread, a pat of butter and some rashers of bacon inside. Tis a birthday breakfast from the Padfields. Tom took the cards and parcels together with the basket indoors. It was a shame that there was nothing from the boy's mother, but then it was only Thursday, and perhaps since war had been declared, the post was being delayed. Being delayed. He hurried into the front room. Willie returned, flushed and breathless, followed by Sammy. He flung open the door and was about to say something when he caught sight of the table. On top of a red and white checkered tablecloth were two of the best plates, cups and saucers. In the centre stood a jam jar with flowers in it and surrounding Willie's place were parcels and envelopes. Happy birthday, said Tom. Are they for me? He asked in astonishment. So I think this is one of your questions, isn't it? It is where you usually sit in it. Go on, open them. I'll read out who they're from. Willie picked up a soft brown paper package and with trembling fingers slowly untied the string. Inside lay a green woolen balaclava, a green sleeveless pullover, and a pair of navy blue corduroy shorts. Like to try them on, said Tom. Willie climbed out of his thin gray ones and stepped into the navy pair. Tom fixed the braces onto them. The shorts were a little loose around the waist. Soon fill out though, said Tom. He put the pullover on Willie's over, shirt, over, over Willie's shirt. Stand back and let's have a look at you. The top was also a little long, but not so that it looked so foolish. The shorts hung comfortably down to the base of his knees. He beamed. Feel good, do they? Yeah, they got pockets too, he said, plunging his hands deep in them. He glanced at the balaclava. What's that? Tis a balaclava. Keeps your head and ears warm when the wind's nippy. Can I put it on now, if you want? Who gave it to me? He asked as he pulled it over his head. I did, but Mrs Fletcher made it. Ta, said Willie gratefully, and he touched the soft wool of the pullover. Ain't you going to open the rest? The next parcel contains some chilli-proof underwear from May Thorne, who Will had never even met, Willie had never even met. Amelia, her sister, had given him an illustrated copy of The Wind in the Willows. Inside she'd written, To William on his ninth birthday, for Mr Oakley to read to you until you can read it yourself. Willie held it tightly to his chest. Is it for me to keep? You've got another question there, haven't you? Tom nodded. 
his own book, his very own book. The only other book he owned was the Bible. And that was old and dusty and had previously belonged to someone else. This book was new. The pages were crisp and white and were filled with the most marvelous pictures of animals wearing clothes. He placed the book carefully to one side and continued to open the other parcels. There was a white china egg cup with a gold rim from Connie and Walter Bird, a boy's comic annual with lots of pictures and games in it from Dr. and Nancy Little, and a game of snap from the vicar and his wife. In addition to the parcels were seven birthday cards. Willie was completely overcome. He sat down and stared at the gifts, quite speechless. Tom, meanwhile, took a large parcel out of the cupboard and placed it in front of him. That's me present from me to you. But you gave me this, he said, indicating his pullover. And these shorts. This is something different, like... Willie unwrapped the present and gave a start. There before his eyes lay one large and one small sketch pad, pages and pages of untouched paper. There were two paintbrushes and three pots of paint. One brush was a medium sized one. The other was thin and delicate. The paints were red, yellow and blue. If you mix them, said Tom, you can also get orange. Okay, I think that's that there. So let's have a look, look at questions again. So are they for me? He asked in astonishment. Why do you think Willie was astonished? So think about what's happening about Willie at that time, at that moment when he says that, are they for me? So think about what he's just seen and why he's astonished. So think about why he might react like that to having that, like those presents on the table and the table all made up, okay? Uh, question two, find and copy two descriptions that show you Willie was shocked by all the gifts. So finding and copy two descriptions that show you that Willie was shocked. So scan back and think, the section here when you've got he sees all the gifts on the table okay and, and what keep going down here and have a little look and think whether you can find and copy two descriptions so you've got to get those descriptions really really accurately spelt as well okay why he was shocked number three willie held it tightly to his chest why do you think he did this so think about the, the present he has and he holds it tightly to his chest so think about why he would do that to find that that from the passage, Willie holds it tightly to his chest and think about why he would have done that. Here you go. Okay, so it's about the, the book, isn't it? So I think reread that bit, this bit here. Have a little think why he would hold it so tight. Um, doo -doo -doo. Number four, what does this extract tell you about Tom's character? So think about Tom's character. How is Tom conveyed in this, in this extract? What and evidence from the text. It's really important that you actually find information from the text and say, if you think Tom is sh being shown as being kind, you need to um, explain why you see that from the, the text, what evidence is there. So a couple of reasons and a couple of evidences is, is, is always a good start. And this one, how, I'm not gonna help you too much with this one. I just want you to really think about how has the relationship between Mr. Tom and Willie changed from when they first met? So here you think about their relationship in this e extract. Okay, Tom is, is, is seems very caring and, and kind and, and nurturing about Willie and he seems to have taken Willie un, under his wing. But how was he in previous, what was their relationship like previously in previous extracts? So have a little think about that. Okay, so you must actually explain it why you think that. Okay, well have a good book talk and I shall leave you and I shall see you all very soon. Take care, bye.